Hello, welcome to my LP of Hi Mario World by Kaizo is Evil. Uh, I mean, the the LP isn't by Kaizo is Evil, the hack is by Kaizo is Evil. Um, sorry to him for to this taking so long to get out, by the way, because recording issues and stuff like that. Speaking of which, uh, this isn't this first bit here isn't blind because uh, I already went through it once and the recording got lost, so woohoo. So I already know this bit, but the future segments should probably be blind. So let's get started here. Mathlete presents. It's kind of funny, I've got a Mathlete t shirt, got it for tutoring in high school. And starts with a little auto level here. Kind of cool. Uh, a lot of the areas in the first world are auto level levels. So file B. All right, so we're in the tutorial room, and I'll just make a safe state here for kicks, even though it really doesn't matter. So there's a few blocks here of note. This is pretty much just a tutorial section, like it says block tutorial. Didn't even notice that for a while at first. If you touch these ones from the side, you die. But if you you can touch them from the top or the bottom, and you're totally fine. This is a swimming block for some reason. I don't know. I don't know what this is supposed to be. This one, I uh, you can hit it with a block, and you die too. And over here, we've got. A block you can walk through from side to side, but if you try to land on the top or the bottom, well, I don't know about the bottom, but the top will kill you. And over here we've got a mushroom, but it's under spike, so it doesn't help me a whole lot. And the big boo, so let's just kill him. I did it! I killed the ghosty! Alright, so, and we get nothing. We're right back here, so we've got to start by going over this way, past the ghost. Uh, you can fall through these, but, and, oops, fail. All right, no, <laughs> I'm missing this up so bad now. So you can go through these, and th these are the invisible coin blocks, which are always fun, but at least you can see them now, or you jump in the death trap. Those are the normal blocks we all know and love, and in here, so we've got a little puzzle here. Eh, almost made it first shot. Let's try to get back here. Well, oops. Got it. All right. So now we get to go on to the next part. You must collect four precursor orbs to unlock the star world. That is where Wendy hides. So apparently Wendy is a big fish this time. Maybe Bowser is also there hiding behind. That would be like a Mario hackish plot twist. And here we have an overworld map. Silence will follow when the question is asked. Doctor Who reference for the win. So the map just says hi right now. Hi. And uh, it doesn't, it's kind of weird. It uh, doesn't look like a complete overworld, but at least not yet anyway. No Yoshis, because we could have gotten so many up till this point. So now the sort of the auto levels, so this is cool. Lots of bullet bill dodging, giant golden bullet bills. This must be pretty expensive. Bowser must have a lot of coins in his pocket. Especially for all of these missiles that don't hit anything. And we have a win. And now we're walking on a giant saw blade because that's what Mario likes to do in his spare time. Walking on giant saw blades and kicking a block into bullets. And we had exactly one second left on the clock, if you noticed. So, well planned. Yoshi's Island 2, another auto level.
this would be so incredibly ninja if I were actually playing right now. And lots of bouncing. I don't know if you can hear that, but it's kind of annoying, really. <laughs> it's so kind of funny looking. All right, so now we have the castle, which doesn't look too castle-y, except for it being a little darker, but still just ninja as ever. Right under the swim tight gap there. Mario just lands on every third, fourth bullet to be a douche. <laughs> and back into the pipe. Both the world maps are labeled high, I suppose. Two people having co a conversation, maybe? I don't know. And now here we have Pinranas Canyon in the, not Pinranas. Yeah, those are, those are clearly Pinranas. The volcano lotuses can't hit you here, so you can't, don't even have to dodge. You did it. You defeated a boss by standing there, the most incompetent boss in existence. Now to face a slightly more competent boss, Iggy Koopa. And, oh crap, I'm supposed to go in the door there. <laughs> Forgot, I did that last time too. All right. All right, this guy is harder than he is in the original. Oh yeah, because you can only land on him once. Oh, well, that was dumb. He also good. Ah, oh, dang it. But, fail. It's kind of hard to tell when you can hit him and when you can't. Ah, uh, dang it. Also, it's a platform. Dang it. I'm getting over the side kind of quick this time. If I don't mess it up. Dang it, I messed it up. I think the platform's icy too, perhaps. I expect him to go again. Almost got him. He's on the ropes. Got him. There we go. That was close. Oh. That boss is surprisingly challenging for such a simple fight compared to some of the crazy hacks out there. But and we have a golden egg. I suppose that's the uh, precursor. Precursor, what was it called? Mario killed Iggy. After that, Mario lost the game. The object of the game is not to think of the game. If one thinks of the game, he or she loses the game. Thank goodness my roommate is not here right now, because if she lost the game, I'm sure he would be in tears. No, I'm joking. Uh, I'm sure that that is also of the greatest relevance to Mario right now. I'm sure that's exactly what he was thinking, not, oh boy, I... Thank goodness I survived that encounter with a deadly dinosaur. Now leaving Yoshi's Island. Hope you enjoyed your stay and please come again. Go to the right and here's a one-up as you leave. Bye. Why, thank you. You, I guess the Yoshi's Island uh, traveling agency knows how to reel in the customers. Give, give them extra life as you leave and they'll be willing to come back again later. And so we venture on to Donut Plains.
All right. First level of Donut Claims, and we've immediately killed a fish. Welcome to Donut Claims. I guess their traveling agency is trying to compete with the other one. All Goombas are weak to fire. But now all else fails, use fire. All right. I don't want to die right away. You can be, kind of do this two ways. Oh, the first one is die, and the second one is live. But beyond that, I... Uh, you can kind of take it fast, or you can take it slow. T obviously, taking it slow is the boring way, so I'm going to take it fast. Win! And he's walking on the chompers. Mario likes to do silly, deadly things like that after he already wins. And now we have giant map event. Woo! Uh, nobody likes sticky keys, thanks. Does anyone actually use sticky keys? Due to sprite limitations, you must defeat a sufficient number of enemies to pass. The fire flower only lasts this level. Sorry. I die, die, die. Sideways fireballs. Also, with cannon noises, because that's cool. There's a. Whoa. There's a vine here for some reason, but you can't do anything with it. That seems to have to die. The Goombas kind of get stomped. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's so stupid. Um, all right, so the shell is here, but the finish is not due to sprite limitations. So I've got to go back and murder stuff. Yay. There we go. And we have all three. The note block. If you overcame sprite limits, there should be a gold spear. Furthermore, avoid the upper path. Also, lose the fire flower. Well, it makes me wonder why the, the path is even there, but... I get out of my way. I need running speed. And now we just gotta throw this into the block. Thankfully, the shell goes through you if you are standing right next to the block when you throw it. And so Mario is drowning. Seems like a happy way to end this video. So, see you later, and that's the end. I really know how to conclude my videos. I'll have to work on that, I think.